The strobe effect is a simple yet powerful effect that when used right will really bring your videos to a whole new level. So that's why in this video I'm going to teach you four easy strobe effects that you really should know. And the coolest part out of all of this is that you can use them either as an effect or as a transition. So all of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. Now the first strobe effect that I'm going to show you is called the inverted strobe effect. A lot of people also call this the x-ray effect, but it's the inverted strobe effect. I mean, if it had x-ray capabilities, that would be pretty cool, but honestly, it doesn't. So in DaVinci Resolve, on our timeline, we have two clips right here. I'm going to go to my effects library right here and go down to effects. Now grab an adjustment clip and put it on video layer two like this. Next in the effects library, go to open effects and type in invert color and go ahead and drag that onto your adjustment clip. So now you can see that the color is all crazy and wild and stuff. So I'll zoom in on my adjustment clip right here and make a cut on the playhead and move forward two frames and make one more cut on the adjustment clip. Then go ahead and remove the rest because we just don't need it. Now just grab the adjustment clip and put it in the center of the cut, just like this. So if we take a quick look at it, you can see that there's a really quick strobe right there, but I want it to be more. So what I can do is click on my adjustment clip and hold Alt and drag it to duplicate it like this. Now all I'm gonna do is cut this adjustment clip in half so that they're just one frame sections like this and space them out to where there's one frame gaps in between the strobe. So now you'll see that there's more of a strobe effect and you can keep this going on and on and on if you want to. You can just keep duplicating the one frame section so that the strobe goes as long as you want to. You could even just increase the zoom on some of the adjustment clips so that it's just a little different. Why not, right? Because you can. Now the second strobe that we're gonna go over is your classic black strobe effect. All you have to do is really go into the effects library right here and go down to generators. All you have to do is grab a solid color generator and drag it above onto video layer two like this. Now if you want, you can actually change the color of this solid color by clicking on color and changing it to whatever the heck you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it black. Now all we're gonna do to make the strobe effect is first turn off this video layer right here so that we're not gonna make any cuts on our actual footage. Now go to the beginning of the solid color and move forward by one frame and make a cut. Now do that like 10 more times. Then once you have your solid color all cut up just like this, we're gonna hold control and click on every other one frame section just like this and then delete it. So now if we play it back, you can see that there is a black strobe effect in this video. And all of these strobe effects just go super well when you're having music that has like a ton of hi-hats and all of that good stuff because it just makes it look so much better. Now the third strobe that we're gonna go over is the RGB strobe. This one is super cool. By the way, if you're finding value in this video, a subscribe would be awesome. So in DaVinci Resolve, what we have to do is, can you guess it? Go to the effects library because, you know, that's where all of these effects are gonna happen. And we'll go down to effects, grab an adjustment clip like this, then go to the open effects tab right here and type in invert color and drag it out onto the adjustment clip. So you might be saying to yourself, Billy, what the heck? We already did this. Just hold up, I got you, I promise. So go to the beginning of the adjustment clip and grab the blade tool right here, which by the way, I don't think I've ever used in a tutorial because I always just use the razor tool. I have it set up to S and it just works beautiful. But I just wanted to show you that I know it's there. So I'm gonna make three cuts and go back to the selection tool by hitting V and delete the rest of the adjustment clip. Next, click on this first one frame section right here and go to the open effects tab. It's in the inspector tab if you didn't know. Now I'm gonna uncheck the green and blue channel like this so that the red is the only one selected. Now I'll move on to the second one right here and turn off the red and the blue so that the green channel is the only one showing through. Then our third one, I'm gonna move forward and turn off the red 
and green so that the blue is the only one showing. So now if we take a look at it, you see that we literally have an RGB flash, which honestly looks pretty cool. But you know what looks even cooler is when you grab our RGB strobe and put it in the middle of our cut just like this. So now that strobe hides our cut, but you can also add a lot more to this. So if you duplicate one of these adjustment clips right here and click on it, go to the open effects tab, you can actually combine two channels right here so that you're getting a different color like a cyan or a kind of magenta purple or pink. Really, you can just do a ton of cool things with this. Now the fourth strobe effect is called the footage strobe and this one is pretty cool. Now to make this really cool footage strobe, what we're gonna have to do is in DaVinci Resolve, we gotta have two clips. So we have our first clip right here and this second one. So if I want this second clip right here to strobe, what I'm gonna do is move forward and make a cut and then keep doing that for as long as I want it to strobe. Now what I'm gonna do is highlight every other one frame section just like this and delete it. So now if I grab that footage right here and bring it above onto video layer two and overlay it. So now if we watch it, you can see that we have the footage strobe effect right there. Now, a really fun thing you can do is with this strobe footage right here, you can actually go ahead and in the inspector tab, hit invert. It just kind of adds a really weird angle to it. You can take it or leave it. That one's just completely up to you. You can either invert it or not. However, if you want this strobe to help transition into this next clip, what you'll do is go ahead and grab the footage like that and put it at the end. You see how that works? The strobe footage transition. If you guys didn't know, me and my wife are moving and we're creating an awesome studio that is gonna be specific for all of our video production work, our YouTube and our client work and all of that other stuff. So I have to ask, do you guys wanna be behind the scenes of how we're creating the studio? Let me know in the comments below. So with all this talk of making some awesome transitions, if you're interested in having your own awesome transitions for your videos, I just recently created an awesome drag and drop shape transition pack so you can add some awesome awesome style to your videos quickly. So if you're interested in that, click the link down below to get that today. Anyway, if you want more videos like this, click on the top for a playlist with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.